Remember when I made my Nexus Pro review and I had a whole bunch of complaints about it? I guess Dart Zone listened. So this is the Dart Zone Max Dictator. If my incoherent intro didn't make any sense, this is basically a better version of the Nexus Pro, and I'm gonna explain all the reasons why I say that. So first of all, starting off with the design, it looks really cool. It looks kind of like an F1 race car was turned into a Nerf Blaster. All of the lines are kind of slanted forward, so it looks very fast and aerodynamic. Even on the muzzle brake, they have the same forward slanted lines which match the angle of the rest of it. That pattern even goes goes on the grip and on the foregrip. I don't know why I said those backwards. It just looks really, really cool. All the details seem to have their place. And on top of that, because this is a dart zone blaster made by a competent company, when you flip the blaster over, you're going to be seeing the exact same thing that you would see on the other side. The ergo on this blaster is so much better than the Nexus Pros. I love this grip so much. It is beyond comfortable in every single way. It's very angular, but also very rounded all over the place. And this finger choil just feels so natural to put your middle finger into. It just feels wonderful to hold on to this. The trigger is super responsive with a nice metal spring. It's very smooth and filleted, and it's quite a bit smaller than the Nexus Pro's trigger, which is a good thing, because I think the Nexus Pro is a trigger that's way too big. The only part of the Ergo that I would prefer the Nexus Pro over is the foregrip. It just seems a little bit too sharp on these ridges, and it doesn't seem like it's quite big enough for my whole hand to fit on, but hey, that's nitpicking it quite a bit. The stock could be about an inch longer. I think it's just a little bit too short, but that's nitpicking it because when you actually go to shoulder it, it's so comfortable. And this hole in the back seems like it's going to be an issue and is quite a turnoff for a lot of people who want to get this blaster. But quite honestly, you don't even notice the hole when you're actually shouldering it unless you have super bony shoulders, which I do. And I don't even notice it, so that should say something. Now it's time for the fun part. How does this blaster work? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is the mag release. You tilt the blaster up and hit that and the mag will just fall right out. You don't have to do any lubrication or anything to get this thing to mag drop. You can also mag drop it in just by tilting the blaster down and it will inevitably fall right in and that is locked. You can't pull that out without hitting the mag release. That is such a brilliant system, using the stock as a funnel to get the magazine into the middle. Even if you don't have the double magazine connected, you can pretty much just drop it and it will immediately lock in. If it doesn't, you can just push it a little bit and it will lock in completely hidden in the blaster. It is a genius system. To actually fire this blaster, you pull this back, push it forward, and fire once. It's very loud, or you can slam fire it. Slam fire! Yes! And also, I think it's worth noting, this Prime is so, so, so smooth. It is just as smooth as the Mega Twin Shock. It is wonderful. Priming this thing is a joy. Firing this thing is a joy. The trigger is so snappy and responsive. And the internals of this thing are just decked out to the highest caliber possible. On top of that, they fixed the stupid safety that the Nexus Pro has. While the safety design is still the same, it has a rugged clicking mechanism in there so you can't accidentally press it in. Plus, it's hidden by the mag release, which is right in front of it, so if you lay it on its side, you're not gonna accidentally press the safety in any way. It has to be a conscious decision to push that safety from the hot or safe position, vice versa. Thank you. So I'm gonna be doing 12 shots a single shot and then 12 with slam fire to demonstrate how to slam fire works. So really quick, it actually jammed once during my testing procedure while I was trying to film the firing demo and I actually recorded it. Uh-oh. I jammed it. It's finally happening! God, like, two months of this thing and I finally get a shot at jam popping. Oh, did I get it? Yeah, it's still jammed. Nope, it's still jammed. Uh, cut. 
It was really weird. The dart got stuck side, like with its head facing up while the rest of the dart was still facing forward. I guess because I was doing slam fire too fast. It was really weird. And that's the only time I've ever jammed this thing. It didn't jam at all when I was testing it, which is really surprising. But with that said, what do I think of the Dart Zone Max Dictator? I'm completely in love with it. This is an incredible blaster. It has everything good about a hobby grade Springer with the convenience of a blaster that you can pick up from Target right now this very second. My biggest problem with hobby grade blasters is the fact that they're so expensive and so hard to find and people are making hobby grade blasters the standard for the nerfing community. Which is okay I guess, but almost 90% of the entire nerf community can't afford to spend hundreds of dollars on every single blaster. Almost everybody who actually nerfs is just here for the casual market and they don't like to be told by all the hobbyists that they're behind everybody else because they can't pay $250 for the slab. This blaster is $50. You can get it at Target. It is like the most convenient of convenience when it comes to hobby grade blasters. And it is, in my opinion, a true hobby grade blaster. It's got the performance. It's got the functionality. It's smooth. It's comfortable. It's fun as hell. And there's really nothing wrong with it. Even if you have zero half length dart shooters, they put two mags in the box. You can use this right out of the box in any nerf war that you want to go to. It's just wonderful. This blaster takes all of the good aspects out of the hobby grade blasters and all of the good aspects out of the casual blasters and mishmashes them together into the perfect blend. It's got the performance, it's got the ergonomics, it's got the build, it's got the style, it's got the design, it's got the practicality, when it's also got the price. It's only 50 bucks. And so if you are a casual nerfer that wants to get into the hobbyist community, this is the perfect place to start. It's a great taste of what's to come for a price that anybody can afford. If you want to get one of these, I'll link it in the description below. With that said, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, and comment down below what do you think of the Max Dictator. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!